Yeah, so uh, now we are going to discuss the themes of the poem Richard Corey by Edwin Erlington Robinson. Well, so, yeah, is there any questions? Okay, right, done. So the themes, the first one, first theme is false social values. False social values. I have uh, pointed out something here. People in the society judge people from their appearance, behavior, the way of talking, how they dress. So here in this poem also, all the people in the town uh, including the poet, judges Richard Corey as a perfect figure, a flawless figure with his appearance, behavior, and with his dress, with his dress appearance and with his mannerism, all those things. So you can uh, see, I have quoted two lines here, clean, clean favored and imperially slim. He was rich years, richer than a king. So. Uh, all the people in the town have, uh, uh, like, they have judged Richard Corey as a rich person through his appearance, his dress, way of talking, the manner of speaking, and all these things. So, actually, those are very uh, false values. All the people think that this appearance, what they see, is true, and they judge them. So these values, they think the richness, wealth is valuable, status is valuable, uh, the dignity and all these things, what they see, the outer things are valuable. So they have been the society accept them as values, but actually they are false values. At the end of the poem, we can, uh, we can see that how these values have been uh, how these values have been demeaned by the poet himself because the person who had all these values finally ended his life and ended up his life uh, without any reason that people could not see any reason. And the people also uh, selfish in a way because there's no mention about the people attending his funeral or uh, crying for him, but just they were appreciating and uh, looking at the person with all these values. They thought these are the values, but more than these materialistic values like appearance, uh, wealth and all these things, there are some more valuable things in life they are happiness, satisfaction, uh, the mental, uh, the, the good mentality and all these things. But as this person lacked the true social values like happiness and relax, relaxation, happiness and satisfaction, he had to end up his life. So people are always having false values. So if you are supporting this theme, you can also uh, contribute taking some real life examples from the society. Then uh, if you're asked to write it in an answer, you will, you will get more marks for that if you incorporate some real incidents for this. Right, we'll go for the next theme now. That is appearance versus reality. That is a, that is a significant theme in this poem. So Richard Corey is nicely dressed, very pleasant, walks lightly but quickly and greets good morning from the bottom of his heart. With his outer appearance and behavior, he is a gentleman and a great personality without problems. So that is his outer appearance. He was having all this pleasant appearance and his manner was good, his, uh, how he was walking was good, and how he was greeting was good, and uh, his wealth, his status, his prestige, dignity, everything was in a great uh, status. He was having everything. He, was, he has fulfilled all these things. So the person 
uh, with his outer appearance, everybody judge him, everybody judges him as a great personality, a real gentleman and a flawless man. But in reality, he was suffering from unreachable, unbearable and uh, uh, unbearable problems that might be the reason for his death. He was not satisfied inside, though he had all those materialistic deeds, materialistic wealth and everything, he was not really satisfied about his life. So that's why that uh, that's the reason for their uh, for his death for his suicide uh, to ending up uh, his life by himself. So that may be the reason. And uh, I have quoted two lines here: admirably schooled in every grace, but in contrast, went home and put a bullet through his head. For the people, he was a king, a divine figure. But in reality, that was the appearance. Uh, with the outer appearance, he was, he was like a king. He was a real gentleman, a divine figure. But finally, he ends up his life with a bullet. So that he is, uh, went home and put, and put a bullet through his head. So that's it. He, the contrast is the appearance versus reality is, a, is one of the main themes in this poem. Well, so we can go for the next theme. That is different perspectives of social standards. Now, uh, the meat and bread in this poem, mentioned in this poem, tells you something about uh, the two classes, the high class and the lower class. So meat signifies the high class, the high status, the upper class, uh, the people, the well-to-do uh, people, and uh, bread signifies the poverty, unsatisfaction, uh, dissatisfaction, and all these things. So People in the society have different perspectives according to their social standards. So as Richard Corey was in a great standard, people wanted to follow him. People wanted to look at him. People wanted to be like them. So, so the people have, have high thoughts about, had high thoughts about Richard Corey and they thought that Mr. Corey is perfect and flawless. So as he was having wealth and he was in a, a higher standard, that was his status, that was his social class. So just because he was that class, people had high thoughts about this man. The poet signifies the perspective of people towards Mr. Corey, Mr. Corey telling, went without the meat and curled the bread. With these perspectives of people, pe with these perspectives, people curse for what they have, what they have is bread and yearns for meat. But they didn't understand that those who have bread is having some kind of mental satisfaction than those who have meat, like Richard Corey. So they, but they have some kind of perspective towards this social standard and they are thinking that if they have wealth, social status, the class is, if the class is high and if they have enough money and they are wealthy enough, then they are, they are having a good standard in life too. They are having everything and they are perfect. So that is their perspective. But so then what, what they do is they curse themselves. They, they curse what they have and yearns for what they don't have. But they don't know what kind of sufferings that those uh, wealthy people have. Well, so we'll go for the next 
And this is another important thing. Money cannot buy happiness. People all over the world today are highly money oriented. They feel money can give them everything. Their judgment of people, actions, events, living, everything is influenced by wealth. So this is the situation in the society now. They think that everybody can achieve all these things. The person who has wealth can achieve all the things in the life. And that man is the perfect thing with all these things. But in reality, it brings neither satisfaction nor happiness, but causes envy. Envy means jealousy. Now in the poem also, we can see, finally they curse bread. Why do they curse bread? Now this man is also not telling that I am jealous of this man because he is having all these things. But indirectly tells you he appreciates him uh, with all his uh, his manner his manners were good his behavior was good his appearance was good everything was good so he he uh, this much praises the man there may be some envy envious thoughts as well maybe some envy is with him the, the person who writes the poem and the, the admirers of the town, that's why they are cursing bread and yearns to have meat. And uh, he, they tell that he's a king and they want to be like him. They want to be like him. So all these things tell that they believe the people, we people in the poem, believe that money can buy everything including happiness and all the satisfaction but in reality we can see the man had all the wealth the man was uh, fulfilled with the segment of money finally ended up his life so he ended up his life calmly silently because he was not having satisfaction, happiness, but he was only having a dissatisfaction, unhappiness, and a mental, mentally he was not stable enough. So money cannot buy happiness is another important theme in the poem. Well, then uh, the other one is loneliness. Loneliness. Okay. So uh, now, when we think about the character Richard Corey, uh, we don't feel like he's a lonely person because there was a large audience for him. There was a large audience for him. Everybody, including the poet, admires him, admired him, uh, praised him, and was yearning to be like him. So he was having a large audience and Physically, he was not alone. But we were not told about his family members, relations and all those things. But, but however, he came to the town, talked with people, and he was a socialized being. So we can't say he was a lonely one. Usually, uh, the poets say this man is a lonely man. Uh, when, when he describes something like this, he was describing this man is uh, not talking with others, uh, walking very slowly without looking at the other, without looking uh, at others and all these things. Such a man is a lonely man. But here the poet tells he was greeting to everybody. He was talking with, he was pleasant in talking. He was a socialized being. But inside, so physically he was not alone, but inside mentally, he may be a lonely person. That's why he had to take this decision to end up his life. Today's materialistic, fast moving form of living together uh, with other problems like the generation gap and conditions caused by longer life expectancy and problems of old age, there is an increase in loneliness and also suicides. So there is 
something uh, especially old people have this loneliness uh, nowadays but here we can see even this young gentleman is having a great uh, fracture in his life great loneliness in his life that's why he could he wanted to commit he wanted to end up his life by himself so that was a hard decision but he could he had this strength to do uh, this by himself because he was that much disappointed in his life right then uh, the other point is the poem brings uh, this to mind too and is a pointer to the need for understanding among people so this the loneliness the theme of loneliness tells you something like though you see the person is having a great audience even in the poem uh, clown's wife also we can see though the clown is having a large audience inside he was lonely he was dissatisfied so similarly richard cory was appreciated by so much of people by the whole town and he was having all the materialistic needs but he was pe people did not understand him people never thought that he was lonely and he was having problems people were thinking in a very positive way so nobody could understand him the real situation nobody could understand his real situation right so uh, yeah so the poem reminds you that you should think of the people in the society in an innovative way don't think as you uh, see them as uh, wealthy classy people they don't have problems they do have problems as well right we'll go for the next one yeah so those are the themes do you have anything to add for the themes do you have any ideas to tell about the themes is there any more themes yeah okay so nobody is answering me oh yeah don't judge a book by its cover yes obviously uh, that's it you can apply that don't judge a book by its cover so here we can see uh yes there's another theme poverty of the town life yes there are also people who yearns for meat in the town areas as well yes so the two themes also we can include here don't judge the book by the cover so here the book is mr richard cory everybody judged him with his outer appearance but finally the inside him was a tragedy right and the other uh, theme was here poverty in the town people so uh, although there are some rich people here there are also some poor people living in the same society right that's it this is the end of the discussion of the themes of the poem richard cory so if you like to join my online classes grade 10 grade 11 and revision classes just drop a message to 0765785134 and if you have not subscribed my channel literature warriors subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so thank you all for watching